Right, this question, it says express the following uh, two algebraic fractions which are subtracted from each other as a single fraction in its simplest form and with five marks. So it's quite an involved question. After that, we're asked to show that this equation equals to one has no real roots. Now you'll notice this um, expression here is the exact same as the expression at the top. So clearly we're supposed to use part A to answer part B. Right, let's um, proceed. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to consider this subtraction of algebraic fractions. And what I'd like you to do is um, realise that when you're subtracting fractions, the denominators must be the same. Now there's a factor of x subtract 3 on the bottom on the denominator of both of these. But this first expression here has an x add 4, and this second expression has a 2x add 1. So what I'm going to have to do is multiply this expression by 2x subtract 1, multiply this expression on top and bottom by x add 4, so that the denominators are equivalent to each other. So I'm going to say this is equal to the following. So x subtract 10, and I'm going to put brackets around these, because I'm going to have a multiplication coming up, divided by x subtract 3, x add 4, and I'm going to multiply the top and bottom of this, like I said, by 2x subtract 1. So 2x subtract 1, 2x subtract 1. And I'm doing a subtraction, so I'm going to subtract x subtract 8. And I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom of this by the x add 4. So I'm going to multiply the top there by x add 4, and it's all going to be over x subtract 3. Then I'm going to have my x add 4 and then I'm going to have my 2x subtract 1. Now at this point the denominators are exactly the same so what I can do is I could um, combine the top. So this is going to be identical to. Now I'm going to expand this out here. Expanding this out I'm going to get 2x squared um, subtract 20x so 2x squared subtract an x subtract 20x and then add 10 I'm going to put brackets around that. Subtract all of this. Now I'm going to put so I'm going to put brackets around this. I'm going to have x squared subtract 4x subtract 32, and all of that is going to be divided by. So all of that is going to be divided by um, this here. X subtract 3, x add 4, and 2x subtract 1. Now I can start combining the uh, numerators. So here, this subtract means subtract everything in this bracket. So I've got a 2x squared and I'm subtracting an x squared. So I'm going to have 1x squared. So I have an x squared there. Now what I've got is I've got a negative 21x here. I've got a negative 21x and I'm subtracting a negative 4x. So I'm adding 4x effectively. So I've got negative 21x, add 4x, which is negative 17x's. And lastly, what have I got here? I've got 10 subtract negative 32. That's like 10 add 32, which is 42. So 42 as follows. All divided by x subtract 3, x add 4, and 2x subtract 1. Okay, now the question is, um, can I factorise the top? Well, I can. I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to 42 and add to negative 17. Okay, so let's just think, can we think of anything that multiplies to 42? Well, let's try, I don't know. Um, we could have negative, uh, we could have negative 14 and negative 3. 14 multiplied, uh, negative 14 multiplied by negative 3 is certainly positive 42, and they combine to negative 17. So I can factorise the top as x subtract 3, x subtract 14, all of that divided by x subtract 3, x add 4, 2x subtract 1, and I can divide the top and bottom by the x subtract 3, the common factor on top and bottom, to simplify this fraction, and I'll get x subtract 14 divided by 
x add 4, 2x subtract 1. And also what I'd like what I should do at that stage is I should say substitute a half or not a half, a third or some fraction in there. The reason I can't substitute a half out of interest, just so you're aware, if I substitute a half, this would be zero and I can't divide by zero. So substitute something in there like one or a third or something, check your two answers are the same. That will help you know for sure if it's the same. So next we're asked, hence show that this equation has uh, no real roots. Now hence, th that word basically means using the above. So this expression here, we've simplified it to the following. So for part B, we're going to try and solve this here, x subtract 14 divided by x add 4, 2x subtract 1 is equal to 1. Now I've got this expression on the on the denominator here. I'm going to multiply both sides by x add 4, 2x subtract 1 to get x subtract 14 is equal to x add 4, 2x subtract 1. Now I'm going to multiply the bracket, so x subtract 14 is going to be equal to, well I'm going to have 2x squared, subtract x, add 8x, subtract 4. So I'm going to have x subtract 14 is equal to 2x squared, add 7x, subtract 4. And this is a quadratic you can see, so I'm going to make one side is equal to 0, um, subtracting an x and adding 14 onto both sides, so I'm going to have 2x squared, add 6x, and I'm going to add 14 to both sides, so I'm going to get uh, uh, add 10. I can divide both sides by 2 here, because you can see there's a factor of 2 common here, so I'm going to get 0 is equal to x squared, add 3x, add 5. Now, I could try and solve that quadratic, and I'll, I'm finding, I'll find, hopefully, that there are no real roots. In order to show a quadratic has no real roots, the discriminant, b squared subtract 4ac, you should remember from core 1, must be less than 0. So in this case, our a is equal to 1, there's a hidden 1 in front of the x squared, our b is equal to 3, and our c is equal to 5. If we can show the discriminant, this thing here, b squared subtract 4ac, the discriminant is less than 0, then it has no real roots. So b squared subtract 4ac would be equal to, well, b squared would be 9, subtract 4 times 1 is 4, multiplied by 5 is going to be, um, 4 times 5 is 20. And this answer here is going to be equal to negative 11. So the discriminant, just state discriminant less than 0, therefore equation has no real roots. And you're done.